Welcome to India Business Insights. Today we will be discussing on Indian paper manufacturing. Indian paper and pulp market was valued at 11.48 billion US dollars in 2021 and is expected to reach 31.41 US billion dollars by 2029 at a CAGR of 13.4% during the forecast period. India is the 15th largest paper producer in the world. The annual output of paper in India is more than 25 million tons with an average turnover with many major and regional players. India has emerged as the fastest growing market when it comes to consumption, expected to post a 10.6% growth in per capita consumption of paper in 2021 to 2027. The domestic market consumption of paper is over 16 million tons per annum with over 2 million TPA that is tons per annum being imported. by 2025 to 26 under the baseline scenario domestic consumption is projected to rise to 23.50 million tpa exports of paper and paperboard from india jumped nearly 80% in the financial year 2021 to 22 touching a record of rupees 13963 crore india is exporting papers to uae china saudi arabia Bangladesh, Vietnam and Sri Lanka. In volume terms, paper exports from India have gone up four times from 0.66 million tons in the financial year 17 to 2.85 million tons in the financial year 22. Imports of paper and paperboard in India increased to 742.45 million US dollars in 2021. So, we will look at the major players in the indian paper industry in detail before looking at that i wish to remind you to like and share this video and consider subscribing to our channel for more insights into our industries and assorted businesses india has 861 paper mills 526 of which are operational with a total installed capacity of 27.15 million tons The major states leading in accounting in paper production in India are Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Odisha, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, Haryana and Assam. Maharashtra is at the first rank producing 18% of paper in India. It consists of 63 mills with major centers like Ballar Shah and Chinchwad. Andhra Pradesh ranks second with 19 mills and a 13% production rate with major centers in Rajamandri, Sirpur, Khammam, Bhadrachalam and Kakinanda. Madhya Pradesh is mainly a provider of raw materials like bamboo, sabai, grass etc with 18 mills and 6.62% production capacity. Major centers in Bhopal, Amlapi, Ratlam and Abdullah Ganj. Karnataka with 17 mills accounts for 5.48% production and uses bagas obtained from sugar factories as raw material with major centers in Bhadravati Dandoli and Krishna Raj Sagar Gujarat has the maximum paper making units however most of these units are recycled fiber based Uttar Pradesh has the largest number of mills that is 68 however the production rate remains at 9% due to unfavorable conditions after central pollution control board which is CPCB came out with charter for water recycling and pollution prevention in pulp and paper industries WRPP in 2015 especially for the Ganga river basin states which are Uttar Pradesh Uttarakhand Haryana NCT of Delhi Madhya Pradesh Chhattisgarh Bihar Jharkhand and West Bengal this laid down stringent water consumption and effluent generation norms major centers in Saharanpur Lalkua and Ghaziabad West Bengal is a pioneer state in the paper industry and obtains bamboo and other raw materials from Assam Odisha and Jharkhand major centers in Titagarh Triveni and Rani Ganj Odisha has 8 mills and contributes to 6% of production. Major centers in Brijrajnagar, 
Chandwar and Raigad. Tamil Nadu has 24 small sized mills with major centers in Cheran Mahadevi, Palipalayam, Amravathi Nagar, Pahanasam and Udmalpet. Punjab has 23 mills working with consistent production. Major centers in Hoshiarpur, Sangrur, Sailakhurd and Rajpura. Haryana having 18 mills with a major mill in Yamuna Sagar. Assam is a raw material supplying center, mainly bamboo, to all other paper mills. Nagao has one of the largest paper mills in India. Now let's discuss about the factors which determine the location of the paper industry in India. First, raw material. The location of the paper industry is dependent on the availability of bamboo, softwood. Example, South Gujarat, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh. This is an important factor as the cost of transporting raw materials for the paper industry is higher than cost of transporting newsprint and paper. Second, supply of abundant coal. Energy requirement and total transport cost of coal offset the disadvantage of the dearth of raw materials. Paper manufacturing started in Bengal due to the availability of coal. Industry is present in the Himalayan hills as the Himalayan rivers are a source of cheap and reliable hydroelectric power. Third, nearness to the market. Some of the paper mills are located near the market where cheap labour is also available. For example, in Kolkata where raw material is brought from the northeastern states, here cheap labour, coal and water is readily available. Fourth, water supply. Paper slash pulp mills require clean water free from chemicals slash pollutants. This is one of the reasons why they are set up near forest locations away from polluted rivers. Now let's discuss about the top players in the paper industry. JK Paper Established in 1962, this is the leading player in office papers, coated papers and packaging boats. The company's diversified product portfolio comprises office paper, writing and printing paper to packaging board and speciality paper among others. It sells these products through its range of brands that is JK Copier, JK Easy Copier, JK Spark, JK Seder, JK Max, JK Excel Bond, etc. The company has a 24% leading market share in the branded copier segment in India, which gives it a slight edge in terms of pricing power. JK Papers has been able to maintain operating margins upwards of 20% despite cost pressures. The company posted a revenue of 3,969 crore rupees and a net profit of rupees 543 crore for financial year 22. Next, West Coast Paper. West Coast Paper Mills Limited is one of the oldest and largest producers of paper for printing, writing and packaging in India. The paper and paperboard division contributes 94.33% of revenues followed by its cables division accounting for 5.67% of revenues. Its product segment includes writing paper, printing paper, specialty paper, industrial paper, packaging board and business Stationary. The company acquired 55% of international paper APPM Limited from International Paper Investments Luxembourg in 2019. This has a capacity of around 2,40,000 TPA. This made it one of the biggest acquisitions in the paper sector. The company has a base of 67 dealers with six zonal offices in India. It also has an international presence with exports of 15 plus countries. Sisha Sai Paper and Boards Limited. The company is engaged in the business of manufacturing and selling printing and writing paper. Shisha Sai Paper has six decades of experience in the Indian paper industry. The company has a total installed capacity of 2,55,000 tons. The company gets 65 to 70% of its sales from South India. It has a network of more than 50 dealers and one depot in Bangalore. The company also exports its products to countries like the USA, Sri Lanka, Nepal and the Middle East countries. The company has been reducing its debts over the past five years and has now become an almost debt-free company. Tamil Nadu Newsprint Limited 
Tamiladu News Print and Papers Limited is in the business of manufacturing and marketing paper, paper board, cement and power generation. The company produces a wide portfolio of high quality papers for printing and writing and coated and uncoated paper boards best suited for the packaging industry. The company uses bagas, the sugar cane residue as its predominant raw material. This is different from other paper companies which use waste paper pulp. At present, paper and board account for 82% of revenues followed by energy which is 13% and cement which is 5%. Presently, the company earns 87% of its revenues from sales in India and the rest 13% from exports. Currently, the company has a paper mill capacity of 4 lakh TPA and a packaging board mill capacity of 2 lakh TPA. Diverging further into micro factors, the operating margins of TNPL have sharply dipped in the last few years and stood at 9% in the financial year 22. The primary reason for the dip has been an increase in raw material and energy costs of pulp, sugarcane, bagasse. Now let's discuss peer comparison. While JK Paper is the clear leader in respect of profitability, while all the companies have strong profit with the exception of Tamil Nadu, Newsprint, Tamil Nadu Newsprint sales are marginally ahead of JK Paper. Sales realization, income from net sales is dominated by JK Paper and Tamil Newsprint in the last financial year. West Coast and Andhra put together closely following the two companies. JK Paper leads this with handsome EBIT compared to its peers. TNPL, even though has the realization of a good sale, it is offset by high fuel and power costs along with other manufacturing expenses resulting in lower EBIT. Pat, JK Paper leads this even though they pay a hefty tax amount when compared to their peers. Here are the top paper companies with their total installed production capacity. Here we can see that JK Paper leads the industry in terms of capacity. The problem ridden built has the second largest capacity in India. Now let's move to important ratios comparison. Good gross and net margins maintained by JK Paper and WCPM compared to industry peers. WCPM, Andhra Paper and Shisha Sai Paper are maintaining very low debt to equity ratio compared to their peers. 3 year CAGR growth in sales and profit positive for JK and WCPM indicating a good market for their product and operating efficiencies are intact. Now let's talk about new players in the market. Sinar Mass Pulp and Paper Private Limited, an Indonesian company who are the largest paper manufacturer in Asia, is setting up a plant in India for the first time. Asia Pulp and Paper, APP, is one of the world's leading producers of pulp, paper and packaging headquartered in Jakarta, Indonesia. Founded in 1972, APP has grown to market its products in more than 150 countries across six continents with an annual converting capacity of over 20 million tons. The project involves building a 1.2 million tons per year printing paper, tissue and packaging board production facility in the Raigarh district of Maharashtra, India. The project will be developed in a phased manner. Sinar Mass Pulp and Paper will invest 10,500 crore rupees in Maharashtra during the project's initial phase. The company is given permission to build the manufacturing plant in Raigarh district on 287 hectares of land for phase 1 and 600 hectares for phase 2. On 1st August 2022, the company paid a reservation fee of almost 37 crore rupees. The site in Dherand village is expected to come online in 2025 subject to the positive outcome of a feasibility study and permitting process. APP said the project would be of strategic importance for its operations in Indonesia and the plant would source its material from Indonesian operations. So, the entry of major players like Sinar Mass is good for our economy but might adversely affect indigenous producers. But having said that, Investment from a major player in India is also a fair indicator of the scope of the Indian paper industry. Let's move to the packaging board and corrugated boxes market. 
Corrugated boxes are multi-layered rigid boxes made from two sheets of paper called liners glued to either side of a corrugated inner fluting that consists of connected arches allowing for greater strength and resistance. The corrugated board can be cut and folded to produce a custom manufactured container and then printed using various print methods depending on run size and design needs. The corrugated boxes industry in India is dominated by MSMEs or equipped with more than 400 automatic corrugators and more than 10,000 semi-automatic units. The industry has been under the immense pressure of unprecedented cost escalation of craft paper and reluctant supply chain dislocation for the past two years. With the rising demand for packaging applications, many companies are expanding their market presence by increasing their production facility and product portfolio. The major vendors of this market are West Rock China, Trident Paper Box Industries and TGI Packaging Private Limited, Capco Packaging, Avon, Pac4 Services LLP. Some recent acquisitions in this segment are West Rock Company, a sustainable paper and packaging solutions provider, acquired a HP Page Wide T1190 Press to complement and expand its portfolio of corrugated printing capabilities. The HP Page Wide T1190 Press is expected to enable West Rock to disrupt the corrugated packaging supply chain and offer superior value to its customers. McDonald's and Deliveroo committed to a new long-term worldwide strategic relationship, expanding on their current agreement to provide consumers and McDonald's franchisees with the convenience and value of McDelivery in markets across the world via the Deliveroo platform. The collaboration between McDonald's and Deliveroo would help build the McDelivery business and promote both companies' commitment to providing a seamless customer experience. SIG a septic carton packaging solutions manufacturer in Switzerland announced plans to consider a strategic investment in a new plant in India. SIG's business in the country, one of its fastest growing markets, is expected to benefit from the relocation. An aseptic carton is used for the packaging of liquid meals and drinks, a multi-layered packaging solution constructed by mixing layers of paperboard and plastic. Tetra and UF Flex are two other companies that operate in this market. Deliveroo, a global food delivery firm with operations in Europe, the Middle East, Asia and Australia, announced the opening of its India Engineering Centre in Hyderabad. Its multi-year strategy is to establish a new team focused on creating exceptional experiences for Deliveroo customers, restaurant and grocery partners and delivery riders, as well as highly scalable, dependable and inventive next-generation products for its global operations. With its base in China, Hong K is a complete packaging solutions provider and an expert in rigid boxes, corrugation boxes, cartons and so on. A professionally run organization with more than a decade's experience in the packaging industry, the company supplies products to top brands in the electronics and mobile segment. The company has entered the Indian market in collaboration with Pragati Pak, Noida and Ramaya Repro Graphics Bangalore for expanding its business in India. Thank you for watching this. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell for the latest updates.